farmer Scott Halpin is entering another year of high prices for seed and fertilizer. And low prices for the corn and soybeans his family is planting on farmland outside Morris, Illinois. The equipment's expensive, land's expensive, and it costs a lot of money to put the crop in the ground. Now there is the threat of Chinese tariffs on U.S. soybeans. A retaliatory move in the wake of pending U.S. tariffs on Chinese aluminum and steel that could further impact Halpin's bottom line. Soybeans make up about uh, just under half of our crop rotation and uh, you know it's a real important part of our farming operation here. And there are reports that buyers in China, the world's top consumer of soybeans, have stopped purchasing supplies from the U.S. even before tariffs are in place. It can hurt when things happen on a daily basis, just kind of uncertain times here in farming. Uncertain but not unbearable, says Phil Flynn, senior market analyst with the Price Futures Group and a contributor to Fox Business News. Even though China's talking tough, they realize that they cannot get into a trade war with the United States uh, because they have a lot more to lose right now than we do. According to the USDA, China imports about 63% of the total world export of soybeans and is the second largest export market for U.S. grain products. The world's changed. There's not a lot of places that can replace American soybeans uh, in the near term. So, and the tariffs are probably not going to be enough to change Chinese purchases because at the end of the day, there's going to be a time and place where the only place they can get their soybeans that they're going to need desperately in their soybean meal is going to be the United States, even at a higher price. Scott Halpin says he understands the big picture and the need for fair trade but farmers could use a little security in tough economic times. We understand that there's inadequacies in, in, the, in the overall trade, but yeah, it makes us a little uneasy that uh, the soybean market is such a volatile part of the ag economy, um, and China's such a big player. We need China or someone else to step up and take China's place. I guess historically we know that the markets should come back and somebody will pick up the slack if, if China's buying from another country, uh, somebody else is going to be looking for our soybeans. Um, it would just be nice to have more stability in it. While the uncertainty isn't changing the Halpin family's overall plans this planting season, it could be a different story during harvest time later this year. The prices and the markets dramatically affect how we do things on the farm. So does the weather, the other great uncertainty all farmers face. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Morris, Illinois.